Hi guys, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I wanted to do a spring, summer, like makeup, body, and even a couple of accessories, one accessory, a couple different uh, types, um, radio for you, but drugstore style. All things you could find at your local Target, um, CVS, Rite Aid, any, any local drugstore. And the reason why I wanted to do this drugstore, first of all, is because we can all save a few bucks here and there and also I think that be the drugstore has so much to offer especially for spring and summer I just don't think that you have to spend a lot of money on certain items to feel great to have great results and uh, they're just such a huge variety at the drugstore that I figured I wanted to share that with you I'm gonna go into body first this is a moisturizer that I love to use during the summer and spring when my body is not as dry as it is in the winter time, but I still moisturize every single day. This is my favorite. This is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. I bought one last summer, I used the entire thing, and then I bought another one that I used half of, and I've just now started using it again because we've had a couple of really nice warm days, so I feel like my, my skin already feels a bit more hydrated than normal. So I've been using this in the mornings after I take a shower after I work out, and then uh, have moisturizing at night still just because it, it is still cold but I absolutely love this I love that you can just spray this on rub it in and out the door you go I just think it's awesome and um, I'm really in love with this so this is definitely a must for me if you don't want to moisturize too much and just feel like it's greasy when you're walking out the door if it's already hot you know that feeling this is a definitely a good one I'm actually gonna put my hair up and get a bit more comfortable with you and um I apologize if this video is a bit long but I uh, want to cover quite a few things with you. Wow, my hair has definitely looked better, but you know what? We're all friends here. Another thing I wanted to mention and touch back on is this. This is a Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. This is a, it says, five visible benefits in five days. Hydrates and smooths, brightens and illuminates, evens skin tone, work visibly firm skin minimizes the appearance of imperfections i can tell you the smell of this is incredible i am in love with the smell it is a little bit tacky at first and you need to let it dry before you put clothes on and i don't think this is something that's going to make your legs smooth and perfect and make appear like there's not, not a single imperfection on your legs it doesn't do that for me but this does moisturize really well and it gives it like a touch of glow so if you're starting to now wear dresses or shorts soon and whatnot and you want something that moisturizes but gives you just a touch of glow I think this is a definite one to go to and I'm almost out of this I can't believe it I've never used up a lotion this fast before in my entire life so I'm really excited and this just shows how much I love it so for me this is definitely a winner next um okay I am getting back into um, self tanning a bit because now I you know I my my tan from Miami is starting to fade and this I don't know if you can find this at Target, but I wanted to mention it because it is one of the most inexpensive self tanners and it's my personal favorite self tanner that I have ever used and it is just the Fake Bake Flawless. This I believe you can find for less than 20 bucks, which is really awesome price for a self tanner. This is the Fake Bake Flawless Darker and then there's a Fake Bake Flawless Regular. These are my two favorite. They also have like a 60 second one, which I don't like for myself because I just don't feel like it shows up on me enough. But these are my personal favorite and they're the most inexpensive that I found. And um, so if you are looking for a good self tanner, I will uh, I'll link my tanning my self tanning routine down below. I've done a video on this before, but I just wanted to touch back on it again with you because it is just the best. And, and at this time of year, I definitely need to tan my legs if I'm starting to wear dresses, and I just love that. If you uh, want more of a gradual tanner and you don't want sort of a, a stain like that one, this is my personal favorite, and I use this every other night when I use the self tanner just to keep the, the, the tan on longer. This is the Hemp's touch of summer daily moisturizer for medium skin tones and this is a gradual tanner I love this it doesn't fade on me patchy I can just use a really good body scrub and it can completely come off if I wanted to uh, be because I don't use it every day when I do use it I use it like every other day a little bit I feel like it just leaves my tan on a little bit longer it gives me a beautiful sort of warm glow doesn't look fake doesn't look patchy doesn't look orange definitely a favorite and I feel like by now if you guys if I say to you guys this is a favorite, you'll know I'm, I mean it because I just, I've tried so many different products and those are my, 
you know, so when I tell you I recommend something, you gotta trust me, I have done the research. Um, if, however, you are looking for makeup for your body, if you think, you know what, Laura, I've got a lot of scars on my legs, which I do, uh, because I, I just get, I get bit by mosquitoes like you would not believe. No amount of mosquito repellent can help that. I don't know what is wrong with me. I have sweet blood from what I've been told, uh, and I've been that way my whole life. So because I scratch my legs so much or my whole body, I do have a lot of um, like scarring on my legs especially. So when I literally want makeup on my legs, if I've got an event to go to and I know I'll be photographed, these are the ones I go to. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Spray on Perfect Legs in an Instant. And the color I have it in is Tan Glow. Now basically what you do, you can see it's, it, it's like tan for you, like completely covers everything. You just spray and then you rub it in. You can do that, you can use this, but they now have a lotion version. And it's the same thing, it's by Sally Hansen. It's the Airbrush Leg Smooth on Perfect Legs in an Instant. This is the um, lotion. What I do with both of these is mix uh, mix them in a little bit of lotion because I feel like when you mix them in with a little bit of lotion, even this one, like I'll put a little lotion in my hand and then spray this in and then mix it around and then put them on my legs. I do the same thing with this. The only reason I feel like I need to do that is because then I feel like it goes on so much smoother. I feel like it doesn't come on as harsh and it blends in with my skin a lot better. So if you have found difficult to make these two look sort of natural on your legs because these are really sort of they have a really strong pigmentation try mixing it in with some lotion I promise you it will make a difference and if you want I will do a video on this just let me know down below um, and I would love to do that for you the thing I love about these is that they dry and therefore they don't like rub off on my dress my clothes or whatnot so that's really important to me uh, when it comes to that. And then I wanted to mention a couple of body sprays that I love and I've picked up two new ones. I picked up, they're the same thing, but they're two new bottles. I picked these up not too long ago from Target and they are the Bodycology Fragrance Mist and these are my two favorite scent, like my favorite scent is the Sunkissed Citrus, which I'm wearing today. You guys know I love anything citrus and the Wild Poppy. Now you know I don't love super sweet vanilla brown sugar smells because I just feel like for me, they're too artificial smelling. It's difficult for me to find one that I love that doesn't make me feel like I'm going to barf because <laughs> they're too sweet. So these two are my favorite scents. This is the uh, Sun Kissed Citrus and the Wild Poppy. I believe they're less than five bucks each. You do have to reapply throughout the day. It's not like a perfume, but I feel like if you're someone that's maybe sensitive to scents and you can't wear them too much because they're too strong and it gives you a headache, I very oftentimes am one of those people. These are definitely winners um, in my book, and I, and I love these, and I just wanted to give them a mention. It, you know, they make you feel good. I love to spray these on in the morning, in the spring and summer when I've done a workout, and then I go in the shower and I come out. Before I put my makeup on, I just like to spray myself with this, with one of these, and it just puts me in the mood of like, Yes, it's a beautiful spring day. I'm going to get ready for the day. It just makes me feel good. So I just wanted to mention these. All right. Now on to makeup. The first thing I wanted to mention is one of my favorite moisturizers that I tend to use a lot in the summer and it is the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with Sunscreen Raw Spectrum SPF 15. Now in the winter time, I don't use this as much because I don't feel like it hydrates my face enough. I mean in the winter, the Sahara looks hydrated compared to my skin. <laughs> That's how dry my skin gets. But in the summer, this is one of my favorite moisturizers. It's got SPF in it. It smells wonderful. I love the smell of it. It smells like, and I, you might not like this, but it's to me it smells like, um, um, not tanning lotion, um, SPF, you know, to put that you put on the beach. It just smells so good, and I love this. It grows great under makeup, doesn't disturb my makeup at all. Uh, it's just a favorite, so I wanted to mention that. If you are looking for a foundation that's got beautiful coverage, doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, uh, stays on for a long amount of time, and that you can build up, this is a recent favorite of mine from the drugstore that I've mentioned before, and I'm gonna mention it again. It is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. The great thing about this, it's got a beautiful finish, Longevity is great, but you can build it up. You can use a, one pump of this and just kind of spread it all over and buff it into the skin for a lovely sort of light 
uh, more natural coverage, but you can build it up if you want to for more of a full coverage. If you are someone that's looking for a more of a mattifying foundation, the good old Revlon, Revlon, Revlon Color Stay is a favorite of mine, and I'm actually some and you guys know that when I film for Laura in the kitchen, I have a lot of bright lights on me. Even in the winter time, I have to wear a matte, sort of matte finish foundation. And my go-to is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, only because I know that I can leave that foundation on 12 to 14 hours and it will look perfect at the end of the day, the way it does in the beginning. But if I'm filming for, say, six hours, six to eight hours on a short day. This in the summertime is a go-to for me because it is less expensive than my Estee Lauder Double Wear, so it helps me out there. And I feel like this is pretty much the drugstore dupe to the, um, to the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. So if you're looking for a mat more of a mattifying foundation, this is a one to go to. But if you are someone that's like me and from day to day, if you wanna wear something that's got a bit more of a glow to it, this is a favorite of mine. If, however, you don't want to wear foundation, but you do want something that evens out your skin tone and gives you a little bit of coverage. Trust me when I tell you I have tried so many BB creams from the drugstore and I have not liked a single one of them until I came across this one last year. And this is just the one I've kept using and I just wouldn't try any other BB cream. And then I tried my Girl On and I love it. But I think I'm going to just stick to the Girl On and then this one from the drugstore because I don't want to spend any more money trying to find a BB cream. If I found the two that I love, these are the ones I'm gonna stick with for now. And the one I love is the Garnier BB Cream Skin Renew. Now, I have the like this regular one. Uh, I guess it's from normal to dry skin, I suppose. It doesn't say. Uh, but it's just the Miracle Skin Perfector Skin Renew, the color light medium. I like this so much. However, even for me, someone that doesn't normally have oily skin, I find that this can make me look oily throughout the day. So what I did was I went out and I bought the uh, combination to oily skin. This is, again, the BB Cream Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector. Same as this. The only difference is this is for the combination to oily skin. It is a bit of a more of a pricey item at the drugstore, but in comparison to other BB creams at the drugstore or high end, this is a great price. I don't remember exactly how much this is, but I know it's less than $20. I think that this works better than the one for normal to dry, you know, normal skin because this is combination to oily skin. So I feel like this doesn't get, doesn't make me appear oily throughout the day. So I really love this, and I suggest that even if you have normal, dryish skin, try this one out. You'll like this a lot more. I guarantee it. So there's, that's that. Uh, if you want to dish out the money for the garden, uh, the uh, girl on, that's my uh, runner up in my opinion. And like I said, I've tried so many, it's insane. Um, okay, if I, I want to talk about this again because I love this so, so much, and it's this brush. It is the Equal Tools brush. Now, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. This, pat it on to the like very top of your cheekbone, just very, very lightly with your fingers, gives you the, or this, this, which is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. It gives you the appearance of like that beautiful, somewhat wet looking, um, glowy skin, but if you get the bronze version of this, use it like I use my tantalizer by Lorac. In fact, when I run out of this, that's what I'm going to use because I'm just going to uh, purchase the bronze one because it's a lot cheaper. Use the bronze version of this with this brush all over your sort of chest area and down your neck for that beautiful summer glow um, with this brush, and it just is so beautiful, and I know it sounds silly, I know, but when I wear a scoop neck top, scoop neck scoop neck top or low dress it just not low dress but you know what I mean like when my chest is showing it makes me feel so much better and I know it's silly it's very superficial but it just makes me feel so much better that my neck just looks more bronze and more glowy and I have like summer tan kiss it makes a world of a difference I promise so check that out if you haven't already and this brush is just so awesome I can't even say enough good things about it if you are someone who has to use a powder on top of your foundation, I'm one of those people because I'm a firm believer that powder on top of your foundation makes it stay a lot longer. My two favorites from the drugstore are the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder. Now the great thing about this is this does give you extra coverage if you use enough of it. If you use this sort of heavy handed, 
this will give you some extra coverage. So say you want to use a BB cream and top it with a powder. These two together will last you pretty much the entire day because this gives you a bit of extra coverage, just gives you some coverage as well. Together, they're like wham bam. I'm looking fabulous and I've got a perfect skin by using these two together. If, however, you don't need as much coverage but you just want to set your foundation so it stays longer, then my recent favorite is the Physici Physicians Formula Nude Wear um, Powder. Swirl this together with a big brush and just very lightly set your foundation. It doesn't give you a lot of coverage, but it does make your foundation or your BB cream stay on longer. So I've mentioned before that Physicians Formula has some of my favorite face products um, at the drugstore so that's why I just always talk about them because it is a little bit difficult for me to find face products that I love at the drugstore um, and another thing that might be might might be sort of a plus and a minus for the brand is that they don't have a lot of colors to choose from so medium works well for me I know they have like light medium deep um, medium works well for me and I know I don't have to like ivory, beige, blah, 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 blah. It just gets a little bit confusing. So while it might not be a plus in a, to a lot of people, to me it is because I don't have to worry about finding the right shade, which is why I don't use like the Maybelline powder, Dream Wonder powder, because it's just difficult to find my shade and I give up because I'm not someone that's going to sit there and open each one. That's just rude. Um, there's my rant for the day. <laughs> um, I wanted to also mention some bronzers. Now, in the spring and summer, even today, I'm not someone that will... I'm not someone that on a day-to-day -day basis or even when I, you know, do a full face that I do a lot of contouring because it's heavier, you need to use a matte bronzer, it's just a lot of extra work. I just personally love the look of a sun-kissed cheek with maybe a pop of color, maybe a little bit of coral on the cheek. That's just my favorite. So my favorite bronzers are the Physicians Formula. This is Mineral Talc Free uh, Mineral Airbrushing Bronzer. Oops, this is what this one looks like. Um, this, I suppose you could say, is a more matte bronzer out of the three. It's right here on my middle finger. So you could contour with this if you wanted to. I wouldn't because you need to use a bit more of a cooler tone um, bronzer for that. Um, but that's a really good one if you don't want uh, a real shimmery bronzer. The next one, and this is one I've loved for years and I purchased, I don't even know how many of these. It is a Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Medium to Dark. That's what this one looks like. And this is what this one looks like. And this one is just beautiful for bronzing up the skin. It's not as dark as the other one, but I sometimes like that. It's right here. And sometimes what I even do is I skip blush altogether and just use this because it's not dark enough to look like, whoa, you got a lot of bronzer on. But it's nice enough that I can just put it right in this section, maybe not down here, but <laughs> right in this section and it bronzes. It gives you a little bit of color and out the door you go. Um, and then the last one, this was in my yearly favorite, it is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder Glow in the color 110 Glow Medium. This does have a bit of a sheen to it, no like maybe sparkles or anything. It does have a bit of a sheen to it, but this is like you've been out in the sun all day and now your skin looks fabulous and sun-kissed kind of look. So I love this. Um, it's one of my favorites and I feel like if it wasn't my yearly favorites and I'm still loving it this much, then I definitely need to mention it. For blushes, I wanted to talk about uh, just a couple, a couple of longtime favorites that I use a lot in the summer and then sort of a newer one. The, I'm sorry if this video is going to be so long, by the way. I know some people complain about that, but I wanted to share my favorites with you. I don't want to leave things out, especially if it's a drugstore. The first one is by CoverGirl. That's one of their CoverGirl cheekers and the color I have it in, which I love is Rose Silk. Yeah. Now, the it's not crazy pigmented, but it's pigmented enough to look so pretty on the cheek, and it just somehow makes your skin look... Because it is, a, for me anyway, it looks a bit cool toned, I'm always afraid to use cool toned blushes because I'm afraid that they're going to just look so... Um, they're going to stand out so much. Um, but this is one that I've loved for so long. I've loved this for years. And I love to wear this in the summer and spring when I have more, more of color without, without even using a highlighter when I have more color to the skin. I just feel like that works beautifully. Another long time favorite, and I have pretty much all of these Milani baked blushes, but this is one that I've had for years and um, I've repurchased this. And I've used this on brides when I did. I did some 
makeup for brides a couple years ago I had some girlfriends getting married and I used this blush on them because it just is so beautiful I love this it does have some sparkle to it but if you don't mind I just think it's beautiful and they don't fall all over your face either they just stay put but this is what this one looks like right here it's like a mixture of coral and like rose gold it's just beautiful and uh, you can imagine how beautiful this looks on tan skin because it blends into the skin so well because it does have that like rose gold kind of undertone to it it just looks like it your skin is glowing and um, if I yeah I don't think I can I was gonna see if I could show you a picture of Jamie when I did her makeup for her wedding she was the most beautiful bride I've ever seen and uh, she had that on and it just her skin when I did her makeup, I was even impressed. We did some trial, um, obviously, some trial makeup runs, and she, we were just so, I was just so in love with her skin. I might do, like, a, a bridal makeup look if you guys want me to because I really concentrated on the skin. I wanted the skin to look perfect and it needed to last all day because she was, you know, and it was in August. No, it was July, so it was really hot, and she got married on the beach. Uh, and it rained so uh, and that makeup stayed on throughout the entire thing without budging even a little bit so maybe there's some tips in there I could share with you so let me know if you do want to see that but anyway a recent favorite blush is this one from Maybelline and this is in the color coral this is another one again it's just beautiful subtle it's right here I might be blending it put this right here it's beautiful and subtle it'll blend right in with your skin and it'll just look like you have been kissed by the Sun and your face is glowing so I wanted to mention that uh, and these two all-time favorites because I do go back to them over and over and over again um, all spring and summer long now there is one shadow I just want to point out that um, I didn't go through a shadow because to be honest summertime I don't do a lot of eyeshadow I prefer don't mind my hair I prefer a pretty face and a bold lip so that's m my preference but an eyeshadow from the drugstore that is a dupe to MAC pigment the tan pigment is the um, L'Oreal infallible shadow in amber rush this is what this looks like and this is one you could slap onto the eye with nothing else just make sure you blend it out well and it just looks incredible and this is what this looks like onto the skin I don't even know if you can see that because it's right over here isn't that beautiful again it's that rose gold gorgeous 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 color look at my finger and this is a color I did use on the brides as well and I use this I didn't even use a tan pigment I used that one because that's the one she wants She's like, I need to wear this it's so beautiful so um, if you don't have this in your collection go get it if this is the only infallible shadow you get you will be happy with it it's just wonderful quality beautiful color longevity is fabulous and I just love it okay let's go on to lips I don't have a lot of high-end colorful lipstick because I think that you get a much better selection in the drugstore hands down and uh, I just don't think that you need to spend an arm and a leg on high-end lipstick that are gonna be something that you don't wear every day I do have some like you know Mac I've got the Gaga and the, 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 the what is this the Viva Glam Gaga, Viva Glam Nikki, you know, a couple of those limited edition ones just because I, ha I have to have them. But anyway, but for the most part, I just really love my drugstore lipsticks. And lipstick is one place specific, spe especially that you don't need high-end versions of because there's so many wonderful brands in the drugstore. And these are my fa some of my favorites I'm going to share with you. The description box down below, by the way, is going to be like seven feet tall because I'm going to try and stick all of these in there for you. The one I'm wearing today, and I've had this on since this morning, and it's now 5.06, and I've had this on, I'd say maybe since 10.30. It is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color 210 Unapologetic. That's what this looks like. Now, to be honest, these, the original um, Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stains, not a fan. Don't like them. I have a few of them. I've given most of them away to my sister. I just, they don't... They don't do anything for me. They come off right away. 
and I don't like a really shiny lip and I feel like those are too shiny for me but this I'm absolutely in love with it's a it's a definite favorite of mine along with the Rimmel um, lasting Kate lipstick in 110 I wore this in my last video I love this it's a favorite of mine um, another one that I really love is the I, by the way I'm a matte lipstick kind of person I love my matte lipsticks and I love um, my cream lipsticks I don't like shiny lipstick I don't like frost or pearls or anything like that but this L'Oreal La Matte and the color is She's So Matte I love this it's a really pretty it's very similar to what I'm wearing today but this stays on a long time so yay for that a really good one as well I'm just giving you some of my favorite sort of recommend I'm recommending you some of my favorites that I've been that have been my favorites for definitely over a year I love this um, coral crush by Maybelline this is the Maybelline color sensational in the coral crush it is such a beautiful beautiful lipstick a bit shinier but fabulous absolutely fabulous another favorite is this um, Maybelline color sensational vivid in the color shocking coral oh, it smells good too I have a thing for smells, you guys know that. This is this one right here. And then I've got this one. I love the smell of this, of these, is the Milani Statement Lipsticks. I don't know what these are called. It doesn't say. Nope. In the color Fruit Punch. If you are too scared to go with a really bright, bright corals, go for this one. It's corally and it's pink and it's more wearable. It smells like like a juicy fruit or something I don't even know and then I love this this is the NYX butter gloss in the color peaches and cream so again if you want to rock a more of a corally lip but corally bright pink lip but you don't know how I'm putting this on pretty concentrated but you can definitely sure this out on your lips go for something like this because it feels really good on the lips it's got beautiful color and I just really really love it so those are some of my favorite lipsticks and I figured I would share some of my favorite cheaper um, drugstore nail polishes now OPI, SE, those are all sort of drugstore polishes but I wanted to not even show you those because those are talked about so much I wanted to show you nail polishes for less than five bucks a piece at the drugstore that are some of my favorites that I wore last year and repurchased and that's a big one for me if I repurchase something chances are it's because I love it and I really love this line I gotta shake this one a bit because it's been sitting on my shelf the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Color Nail Dry and these are some of my these are a couple of my favorites this one I have to shake a bit more but this one is in the color Sonic Bloom, look how pretty that is. And this one is in the color Snappy Sorbet. A pretty like, um, this color right here is a really pretty like creamsicle color. And this is like a pinky. This is a good alternative if you wanted to try that <sighs> China Glaze polish that I, I've worn a in a few videos. I can't remember the name of it. But this is a good alternative to it. No less than five bucks. So even cheaper than SE, cheaper than OPI. I figured I'd mention them. And one that's even cheaper than that is this um, When Wild Mega Last. I loved this this nail polish all year last year. Um, Mega Last nail polish in the color Tropicalia. Yeah, 210C Tropicalia. That's what this looks like. It's just a really pretty, happy color. Um, and I just love that. And then another really bright color, this has been, I would say this was my most worn color last year because I love this formula. And it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro uh, nail polish in the color Sunset Orange. Now I'm going to be painting my nails with this color soon, but I wanted to just show it with you because this was my most worn nail polish last year and this is a, a new bottle. I love that. And then if you don't want to do something so bright, but you just want slight color on your nails for work, maybe more work appropriate, this is a beautiful light, light peachy nude color. And it is the Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Nail Enamel in the color Seashell. How pretty is that? So I love that. I wanted to point that out because if you know, if you don't you're thinking, Laura, I work in an office environment and I cannot have my balls looking at my nails like that, all that bright. This is a good one to go. It's beautiful. I, I don't wear really bright nail polishes or bright lipsticks if I have to go to a business meetings or something like that. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. And before we wrap things up, I wanted to touch on one more thing uh, because 
I felt like why not? I am a sunglass sunglasses lover. I love sunglasses. I've got high-end sunglasses and I've got lower, you know, the more affordable sunglasses. I have to say, Target sunglasses do not let me down. And these are three of my most, three of my favorite, three of my favorite. These three are some of my favorite sunglasses in my entire collection and they're from Target. And I love them. And I think Target sunglasses are the best for the money. And I feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money on sunglasses because you can find some really good at Target. The only thing you gotta be careful for is that the sunglasses should fit your face well. And I feel like, well, I think anyway, I'm scared to wear these on camera because I'm gonna be told I don't. But I feel like these three in particular fit my face so well and they look so beautiful on the face. And you can buy a few different pairs for the price of like less than one of like a Ray-Ban or um, something like that. These are so on trend, they're like kind of like the cat eye but not as extreme and these are from Target and I love them. I love the little detail here, I love the shape, I love that I can just pop them right onto my head. I love everything about these. I love how big they are uh, and these were all less than 20 bucks, they were $16. So love these, definite, definite favorites. I had these on today, um, that's why they're probably smudgy because they were in my bag. Another sort of cat eye-ish pair. I refuse to buy cat eye sunglasses that are expensive, by the way. I just refuse to because there's some, there's a pair by Tom Ford that I love, but they're like $500 and there is no way that I'm gonna spend that much on a trendy piece. Uh, only because I know they're not gonna be in style forever and I would rather buy like a good pair of black, like sort of, you know, normal shape sunglasses or, um, uh, aviators, like a pair that are classics, but cat eye, they're gonna go out of style. And I'm not gonna have them sit in my drawer forever, so I went to Target and I got a couple and these are two of my favorites. These are gray, and I love these so much. I feel it looks so proper in my sunnies. I love these. And again, these were $16, but look how nice they fit. They're not flimsy, they're not falling off my face. Sometimes sunglasses are so cheaply made that they don't even sort of hug your face, but these do. And then I have to show you my f real favorite that I've ever gotten from Target. And every time I wear these and I take a picture on Instagram or I wear them in a vlog or something like that, I get people ask me constantly what sunglasses these are. And even out in public, people ask me what sunglasses these are. And these are av aviators, but the color of these are fabulous. Now don't worry if they're a little bit crooked because I sat on them. Yep, Joe has to make them, make fix them for me. But look at them. I love the color, I love the where they hit, but I don't know if you can see, they don't actually hit my cheek. They almost do, but they don't. And that is key for me, because I don't want them to hit my cheek so bad that it makes like my cheek come out underneath. Do you know what I mean? These are fabulous. I just need Joe to make them straight again, because I sat on them. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys those because um, they're inexpensive and they're fabulous. And I wanted to just share that with you because they're awesome. That is everything. I apologize that this video is too long, but I wanted to give you as much information as possible, um, and I hope that you have found this helpful. I will also do a um, sort of clothing, accessories, shoes, must-have. I'm gonna film that next week because I'm gonna go into try uh, and see if instead of holding up the piece, I wanna have it on. So as I talk about the piece, you can see how it looks. Make sense? I hope so. So that's what I'm gonna try and do it next week. Um, it's gonna be a, a bit of a, a, a bit of a production, that's why I'm gonna need Joe for that. But that is everything. I will list everything that I've talked about down below. I hope that you've enjoyed spending time with me. Let me know what you wanna see next. Leave it down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.